I think growing up and having a lot of pets growing up and like frequenting the vet, I always thought that you know there were things that if I were a vet I might do differently and I sort of harnessed this as an opportunity to, to make a difference. College is really nice because you make a lot of friends that sort of become your family and you can complain about things or <laughs> ask each other questions. From my placements that I've done out in practice, this hospital definitely seems to be the most advanced that I've been to, so it's really good being able to learn not just on the basic instruments that we'd be using out in practice, but also that little bit extra. Um, that's not necessarily a day one skill for us, but that we can sort of get a bit of a, an introduction to um, before we go out into practice and we start to, if we want to specialise or if we just want to further our skills in certain areas. Every year I feel has got more interesting um, and especially in the final year, really enjoying putting it all together and yeah, it's great motivation to look back and review things we've learned earlier because we're seeing, seeing it in real life. It's just been really good, um, not just from a learning aspect, aspect where I can sort of, there's always a friend around going through with me that I can ask a question but also social aspect, you've got plenty of ways to interact with younger year levels, older year levels. It's easier to talk to different lecturers and um, staff members as well. I'm in charge of one of the patients in the hospital at the moment and I'm really enjoying being responsible and um, um, so it definitely is a good confidence builder feeling like you know this could be me in well, this will be me um, next year and having great support around to talk to about um, any questions or concerns and discussing plans going forward with the patient so it's been great. When they have a case that comes in one of us has to take ownership of it and we really have to run that case like we were the actual vet. We can't just be students anymore. We do actually have to make sure we know what questions to ask, where to leave the consult, where we can go for treatment. So they've organised it really well to try and get us to be more independent, especially leading up to graduating because this is stuff that we do need to know. I find most of the clients coming through the clinic, they are quite polite and they're very understanding that this is a teaching hospital, especially in terms of communication, we're not as confident or fluent as a uh, clinician. A couple of staff, you know, say, you know, if you have any problems, like text me if you have a question at midnight or something, you know, a lot of them are quite open, have a real open door policy. Yeah, the resources are fantastic. So in the final year the students' clinical rotations are really a crowning piece of training for them. We view them as our junior colleagues on all of those core rotations and as our junior colleagues they get to start to, to, to be really coming to grips with all of the skills that you need when you're truthfully out in practice. I know the clinicians um, in private practice know it's a really great comfort to know there's such a great facility that um, patients can be referred to and yeah, we're really lucky to um, be spending time with specialists in such a great facility. <laughs>